I'm Alexander and today's video will be spindle speed and feed rate testing of different mills and materials. In this video I will share my results followed by the raw footage of the machining for your reference. Timestamps can be found in the description below to allow you to easily hop between the sections that you would like to see. Without further ado, let's make some chips. To preface this video, I have a 400 watt spindle, and if you have a more powerful spindle, you should be able to get more aggressive feeds and speeds as the rigidity of this machine is better than the spindle. And on to the results. So here we have the results for our eight tests. Number one in position three, two, three, four, five, six, seven in position eight, and eight in position one. So starting off with number one, it was at a 0 0.2 millimeter depth of cut with a 200 millimeter per second feed rate. Um, I like the finish on this one. It's very smooth and looks good. Uh, number two was done at a half a millimeter depth of cut with 100 millimeters per second feed rate. Nothing crazy to report on that. Number three was one millimeter at 75 millimeters per second. And I thought this one actually came out pretty nice and I'll probably use that in the future as well. Number four was at a one millimeter depth of cut with 75 millimeters per second. Uh, similar result, I just found that the edge was a little rough on this, so I avoided it. Number five is a definite no-go. It is a two millimeter depth of cut at 75 millimeters per second. And as you can see, the edges did not really get cut, they just sort of melted and were pushed upwards. And moving into number six, that's the same sort of story. This is now with an adaptive tool clearing path, and that is at the same two millimeters depth of cut and 75 millimeters per second feed. Numbers seven and eight also were adaptive tool paths, and number seven was done at two millimeters depth of cut at 50 millimeters per second. Again, the edges are still rough even after slowing down. And the final eighth test was done at one millimeter depth of cut and 100 millimeters per second. I quite enjoy it. I do not understand why this one section caught, but otherwise the surface finish is acceptable for a single flute end mill. Overall, I do not think this spindle was well suited for a single flute end mill as it did not achieve a high enough RPM to smoothly cut the stock. It felt very choppy. I think a spindle with a higher RPM would be much more effective with a single flute end mill. In the moment, I will be showing some images on the screen of close-up pictures to give a more detailed view of each of the tests.
Thank you.